I'm Gibeon Ferdinand, the St. Lucia Labour Party candidate for Miku South. Since the banana industry suffered, um, the constituency of Miku South has had major issues with employment. And since most of the constituents depended on farming and agriculture to make a living, there's also an issue of empowerment and opportunity. The constituency has had a lot of talent that has not been tapped into. So you find that right now there is a major issue with employment. Um, the agricultural industry is struggling, and so the livelihoods of constituents is threatened. So I think unemployment, um, leadership is another area that is key. Uh, there's, there's an issue with people stepping up to be able to take responsibility. As a member of parliament or as a, a representative for, the, for Miku South, my focus would be on ensuring that there's opportunity for persons to be empowered, particularly the youth. Through the youth economy, I think that would be um, a very good opportunity. But we have to empower the people of Miku South to become employed, self employed, self-employed, entrepreneurs, and be able to actually provide for themselves by creating opportunities. Right here, for example, we are now in the, we are in the middle of the rainforest. This is a Decatia Trail, and village tourism is a great opportunity. There's nothing going on here, but this is a, a brilliant, um, a place that can provide a great opportunity for people to make a living. And so Miku South needs to take advantage of that by empowering people and bringing those opportunities to them. You can't have Ms. Um, Gibeon Ferdinand as an MP in Miku South if there is no attention paid to developing the education of the people as well as the sporting talents and the sporting infrastructure. So these would be among the priorities as well. Education from the early childhood way up to the, the graduate level. We need people from Miku South to continue to thrive and to expand their, their, their competence as, as in education. Sports leadership is, is basically my legacy and uh, we need to ensure that the sporting infrastructure, not just the physical infrastructure, but the, the, the way sports is managed, gives young people an opportunity that they could use their sporting talent to expand their horizon and to gain opportunity. So these have to be priority for me as a, a, a sports leader and a community leader in Miku South, who was also an educator. This is just a continuation of a mission I started as a young man, um, providing leadership in the community, and hopefully through elective politics I will fulfill that to the max. Miku South has been my place of birth and residence. I'm part of the community. It molded and created me. And people from Miku South know um, who they have in front of them. They know my good, bad, and ugly, and they know my past and present. So as, as a representative, people from Miku South have demonstrated that they are supporting me. The last elections, I came in very late, and there was very little time to, to prepare. But I have had five years to do so, and I think the, the pattern has shown that there is hope and there is re real opportunity for us to, to bring that seat to the Labour Party.